Then there are titration curves for when you have polyprotic acids, like acids that are not monoprotic or one proton, but have uh, two protons, diprotic or three protons, triprotic, with bases that might be, uh, or bases that might be uh, polybasic species or, or can accept more than one proton. Now look, now here's what we're doing. We're doing this one again. We, we've seen this equation before, if you've seen the previous lessons, where HCl is being titrated into carbonate. You give up a proton to the carb by the carbonate to form bicarbonate, but it says I can take another proton if you're given. Hydronium says, yeah, I'm continuously added. I'll give you another proton, and we'll make this. We got two equations here, and the beauty of chemistry isn't it great that if there's two equations, there's two bumps on the titration curve. So the equivalence point for the first titration would be here, and the equivalence point for the second one will be here. And by the way. Bicarbonate is a base in solution, and it's around a pH of about, well this actually is about a pH of 11.65, we calculated that before, that's around a pH of 9, and so the equivalence point here is around a pH of 9. This is going to be a weak acid that forms in the second equation, so the equivalence point is going to be in the acid range, probably at about 4, 3 or 4, or something like that. Two bumps. Because there's two equations, because hydronium is, added to, hydronium is added to a chemical that can take two protons. If you could take three protons, you might have three bumps. Although, we'll talk about that in a second, that's not usually going to be the case. But the deal is, if you've got two negative, you're going to be able to give it two protons. There you go, one, two. What's a good indicator to use at a pH of nine? Phenolphthalein. If you wanted to indicate that, equi that equivalence point and get a color change end point, about four here, you would be looking at something like methyl orange, which changes about 3.2 to 4.4 or so. So, that's the titration curve for that equation right there. And then, if somebody just says to you, you, I got a titration curve that looks like this. You're going to say, okay, I get it. I've got a weak acid in my solution because of that schnick. And I got myself two bumps, which means it's going to be a diprotic weak acid that's being titrated by a strong base. And by the way, you're going to say, hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Chem guy, what if you have a weak thing titrating into a weak thing? What does that titration curve look like? Because all you're doing is strong into weak or strong into strong. Well, it doesn't look like nothing. It's a mess. You only do titration curves really to find out unknown concentrations and volumes. You take information from a graph here and you find milliliters added and you find pHs and you can do all kinds of calculations. Well, if that's the case then, you need 100% stoichiometric arrows to do stoichiometry. And you're not going to get those when you have weak things reacting together. So a weak acid and a weak base, when they react together, you just get equilibria there and that's not good enough for stoichiometric purposes. You don't do titrations with weak and weak. And if somebody said that, and somebody did that, well, there's no reason for doing it. Now, here's the thing. So what could possibly be an acid that would do this? Well, how about H2CO3, which could give a proton to hydroxide and then give another proton to hydroxide. That could happen too. Or H-O-O-C-C-O-O-H plus hydroxide because you're going to need two hydroxides, in this case to remove that proton there off of this COON, because COOH loses a proton off the H here, because that's organic acid. You can take an H off of there, and this is a COO in the opposite direction. You can take that H off too. Now, by the way, see methanoic acid right there? That's not diprotic. You can't take the H off of the C, but you can take it off of the O here in the COOH. So that's monoprotic right there. Okay, so. That titration curve, either of those two could give that type of shape for a titration curve there. And then, yeah, methyl orange there for that equivalence point and phenolphthalein for that one there would be great.